the Karamanid Emirate appeared together with the Ottoman state and other Turkish principalities in the 13th century after the major power in Anatolia, the Sultanate of Rum began to disintegrate. Founded around the year 1250 in South Central Anatolia, the Karamanid Emirate was the oldest and longest lived Anatolian Beylik and the most dangerous opponent of the emerging Ottoman Empire. The Sultanate of Rum was established in Anatolia in 1077, six years after the Seljuk Turks defeated the Byzantines in the Battle of Manzikert. The Mongols defeated the Sultanate of Rum in the Battle of Kozedag in 1243 and the Turks became vassals of the Ilkhanate. After the Mongol invasions in the Caucasus around 1230, a Turkmen tribe emigrated from the territories of modern-day Azerbaijan to the western Taurus Mountains near the town of Laranda. A member of this tribe, Nure Sofi, became chief over a few villages in the mountains, which became the core of the future Karamanid Beylik. He retired in 1256 and his son, Kermedin Karman Bey, became the new leader. The city of Laranda was renamed Karaman in his honor and from 1275 became the capital of the Karamanid Beylik. Karaman Bey expanded his territories by capturing the towns of Eregli, Ermenek, Mut, Gulnar and Silifke at the expense of the Sultanate of Rum and the Kingdom of Lesser Armenia. He also got involved in the internal conflicts of the Sultanate of Rum and besieged their capital Konya in 1261 but was defeated. He died in 1262 in battles against the Kingdom of Lesser Armenia and the new leader became his older son Mehmed I of Karaman. He immediately negotiated alliances with other Turkmen clans to raise an army against the Seljuks and Ilkhanids. They were first defeated, but in 1277 won a surprising victory against the Mongol Seljuk armies in the Battle of Göksu River. Taking advantage of the general confusion, Mehmed Bey captured Konya on the 12th of May and placed on the throne a pretender called Jimri, who in turn appointed him as vizier of the Seljuks. In the end, however, Mehmed and Jimri were defeated by Seljuk and Mongol forces and executed in 1278. Despite these blows, the Karamanids continued to increase their power and influence, largely aided by the Mamluks of Egypt. The Seljuk Sultanate collapsed in 1307 and the Karamanids captured its central territories, including the capital Konya, which became their new capital. The Karamanids declared themselves the only heirs to the power of the Seljuks and claimed suzerainty over other Turkic-speaking Beyliks. In the middle of the 14th century, the Karamanid Emirate had a population of about 750,000 people and their army was estimated at least at 30,000 soldiers. Meanwhile, a new power emerged in Western Anatolia, the Ottoman Empire, led by Sultan Murat I. In 1386, while Murat I was engaged in Rumelia, Alatin Ali of Karaman captured Beyshehir, an Ottoman fort. Murat returned to Anatolia and defeated the Karamanids, but agreed to withdraw. After Murat I was killed in the Battle of Kosovo, Ali invaded Ottoman territory for the second time in 1399 and for the third time in 1394 when Bayezid I was campaigning against Wallachia. When he returned to Anatolia, Bayezid captured Konya and had Ali executed, annexing the Karamanid Emirate in 1398. But the Ottoman occupation of Karamanid territories was short-lived. In 1402, Tamerlane invaded Anatolia and defeated Bayezid in the Battle of Ankara, capturing him and starting a political crisis in the Ottoman Empire. Tamerlane gave control of the Karamanid lands, 
plus a few Ottoman fortresses to Mehmet Bey, the oldest son of Alatin Ali Bey. The Karamanids continued to take advantage of the weaknesses of the Ottoman Empire in that period, annexing more territories until 1414, when the new Ottoman Sultan Mehmet I defeated them. When Ottoman Sultan Mehmet I died in 1421, Mehmed II of Karaman attempted to take Antalya, a port in southwest Anatolia from the Ottomans, but was defeated by the new Ottoman Sultan Murat II and died in battle. His son, Ibrahim II, allied with Kingdom of Hungary against the Ottomans and during the Crusade of Varna in 1444, plundered Ottoman cities in Anatolia, including Ankara and Kutahia. Murat, caught between two fires, had to sign the Treaty of Zeged with the Crusaders and then returned to Anatolia and forced Ibrahim to sign a treaty with unfavorable terms. For the Karamanids began a period of decline, accelerated by the succession dispute after the death of Ibrahim II in 1463. The Karamanids refused to join the planned campaign of Sultan Mehmed II against the Mamluks, which angered the Sultan, who changed his plans and instead of the Mamluks, attacked them. Konya was occupied in 1467 and Karaman in 1471. Some parts of the Emirate remained unoccupied but under Ottoman suzerainty. In 1487, during the Ottoman Mamluk War, the Karamanids defected to the Mamluks and the Emirate was finally absorbed by the Ottomans in the same year. To never threaten the integrity of the Ottoman Empire again, entire population of the Beylik was resettled to the last person, some in Anatolia, others on the territory of modern Azerbaijan, but the main part was moved to European territories, in northeastern Bulgaria, the current Ludogoria region, and to southern Bulgaria, the current region of Karzali. Then the Ottomans founded Karaman Eyalet from the former territories of Karamanids. <music>